Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with Mac Tech today with another transmission from Keyboard. And I'm going to be taking a real quick look at a keyboard I should have probably taken a look at a while ago. It's been sitting in my closet being neglected and that's my fault. Anyway, today we're taking a look at the MK870 from FLCMK or FL Esports. Um, I'm not sure if CMMK is a sub brand, but anyway, I have been using their Q75, uh, which is a really nice 75% knobless, beautiful stock keyboard. One of the best stock keyboards I've had. I've actually not done anything to it. Nothing, not even a drop of lube to the stabilizers. I put switches in it, capped it, and it's been running fine ever since. So I am excited to see what this one's gonna bring. Now I did get a semi-transparent version, which I'm not usually fond of, but they only had it in black and white, semi-transparent. I have quite a few black semi-transparent, so I decided, hey, why not get a white semi-transparent? So, let's see what we have in the box. It does come already with some PE foam, which is always great. We want to add that later on. And it comes with a pretty decent... Um, oh, this is actually... It's not as uh, flimsy as the majority of the dust covers that come with packaging. This could actually be used um, as a dust cover every day. And then we have the keyboard. And it's looking pretty nice so far. Got the manual and the instructions. Actually, the software is the same for this one and for the Q75, so I'm familiar. It's, it's pretty basic. I mean, it's your run of the mill. I, run Linux so I don't I only use it just once just to take a look at it now we got your standard keycap and switch puller and a pretty basic uh, USB A to USB C cable in the bag with a with a magnet so it's slightly better than your average cable like I said the instructions and they call this a DIY kit that's a bare bone kit so this has all the shortcuts and the instructions nice little dust pad this back in for now and let's take a look at this keyboard now this is something that has a because I mean I have opened it up and just taken a look at it real quick but it is south facing uh, five pin compatible now again I'm gonna keep saying this north facing interference is becoming a thing of the past most new switches that are made nowadays are not gonna have the interference with cherry uh, keycaps uh, that's the majority of them and I mean not for nothing if you really want to use a switch an older switch or a keycap set that still has interference the tiniest amount of paper inside of the stem hole uh, each of the keycaps will buy you because you really only need to buy about a half a millimeter to a millimeter of space and that'll buy you that space to prevent the interference but the one thing that always interested me about this and I <clears throat> always wondered why it had it I mean but it has a USB-C port on both sides and the back which is a uh, um, I don't believe it works as a chain but uh, it has these I guess you could call them stoppers or rubber gasket I mean and there's the because uh, I mean the port is pretty deep in there that would be Wow, it's three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. <laughs> it's pretty deep in there. Not too many cables are gonna make it, so I'm kind of confused as to that. Thankfully here, uh, the USB-C port is not that um, that deep, so we shouldn't have much issues with the cable, but I'm just curious. Let me see, just out of your curiosity. This is the cable that comes with it. All right. Unvelcro it. All right, this just fits. I was gonna say. All right, I was curious. So it does fit. It just just barely fits, but it does fit. So, all right. That would have been funny if it did. But that's neither here nor there. I think the majority 
uh, a folk are probably just going to use the uh, back. Um, if that is a pass through, I guess maybe. But I don't know. I don't know how it's wired. I doubt it. It it talks about that in the manual. Now let's see about the stabilizers here. Uh, there is a slight amount of lube, and like the Q75, these stabilizers are quite solid. They're just the. I don't know. When you have cats. They're always going to have hair. No matter what you do. No matter how much you clean. There will always be cat hair everywhere. Alright, so the stabilizers are actually quite good. Um, and we've got a piece of foam that's right there. And you can tell that there's foam between... Uh, oh, this is more of that rubber or silicone. Silicone rubber, I believe. Um that's between the plate and the PCB. Now, this is not a gasket mount. This is a top mount, I believe. Um, and this, like I said, it is the translucent version. So we have screws here holding things in. We have some screws here. I, uh, as much as I want to get in there and start mining it, because I've got a few ideas, I want to get to this thing stock and see what it sounds like. It does also have <clears throat> just one set of feet. I mean, one angled, one pair of feet. So you're going to get two different typing angles. So first one looks about three. I would say this one probably six degrees from my guess. Uh, all right. But so it's got good stabilizers. This one's the only one that's a little loose. The rest of these are actually this one and this one the rest of these are pretty pretty solid um, I just got these these are J wicks uh, they're supposed to be uh, I think they're called ultimate black but correct me if I'm wrong I think they're supposed to be like J wicks version of the oil king which I haven't gotten oil kings yet so I was thinking of going ahead and uh, giving these a try. These are five pin switches. Um, they're linear. They feel kind of light for a black, but I was figuring going ahead and throwing these puppies in and then picking out some caps and going from there. Huh? Let's see. Huh? Load up some switches, give it a stock sound test and see what it sounds like. Let's go. I gotta say, I'm quite digging the uh, piano vibe that this is giving off with those j -Wick blacks. Now I just have to wonder what keycap set would look good with this. Hmm. All right, well, I got this, picked up this keycap set the other day. It's MSA uh, profile. Oh, looks like a few keys got loose in there. MSA is a funny, it's like a tall XDA, I would, I don't know. It's very curvaceous though at the top. So I figured I'd go ahead and just stick with the clean piano look we've got going on here. I'm not sure what these look like to be the navigation keys. So we'll just set those aside. Let's go ahead and pop on some keys. Doesn't she look pretty? I'm digging these caps, actually. I wanted to, um, I uh, picked these up pretty cheap on Prime Day. And just liking how these caps look, so I wanted to just give a quick measurement to see. Let me zero it out. Zero, all right. Because these are double shot. And these are almost two millimeters thick. I want to say I paid, yeah, they're 1.8. That's, that's not bad. I 
because I believe these were, they were 12 or 14 on Prime Day. So these are actually now. I'm honestly very impressed with this keyboard stock. So far, it is a. Uh, it has not let me down. It's it's a it's a quite hmm, between the keycap set and so off the bat, I've got to say I'm so far I'm I'm quite impressed. Let's see what the lights look like. I guess the keys are working. The lights aren't going to insert. Okay, the lights are on. Just between the cabs and the switches. Can't see much. It really doesn't even look like the lights are on. They're on. I mean, but between uh, the switches not having any, any um, window, so I was thinking maybe there would be some diffusion, but it looks like the plate and everything else is in the way. So not much of an RGB light show, but that's that's fine because I mean that obviously can be fixed with some uh, uh, different uh, switches um, it would let a lot more light out but I'm here for performance so as you saw took this out of the box we put in some stock um, Jaywick blacks or ultimate blacks I will put in the description correctly what they are I can't recall off the top of my head but so far I'm quite impressed with this kit. I believe I've seen this keyboard range as a bare bone kit. I know I purchased it, but it was on a sale. I want to say it was $47 or $49, but I've seen it as high as $80. Um, but I think the midpoint is somewhere in the $60 to $70 range. Um, anything below $70, I still think this is a decent kit. It's very solid. It feels quite substantial. Um, they could definitely use a tape mod, and I don't know, I might actually go for some silicone in there. Uh, I think it, it could handle it. But, right now, I'm going to go ahead and do a sound test of this kit stock, as is, as it comes, well, I mean, obviously it's bare bone, but stock switches and the keycap set that we just picked out, these are just a black on white um, MSA profile I believe I want to see. yeah MSN black on white so um like I said this was just a quick unboxing I will be doing further um, modifications to this keyboard and taking it yet to the next level if you guys have any suggestions uh, for things to do to it one of the things I think I might be doing to this one is painting it I'm not necessarily I mean if it's not going to be colorful with the lights what's the point of it being translucent right so I may actually make this one of the keyboards I use for a series of videos I'm going to be working on when I have the time of how to properly sand and finish uh, plastics primarily keyboard cases so that they can look as close to factory finish as possible so if you guys are interested keep an eye out it will be soon it won't be anytime too soon but it'll be soon enough so i'll leave you guys with the sound test after this until next transmission peace and love fellow humans keep calm keyboard on